Da må lide det. Oh, man. That is fine. I can taste everything in the corn, the rotel, the green onion. Now for a sip of wine. That's all it needed was just a half a swallow. <laughs> How y'all are? I'm glad for you to see me. Who said that? <laughs> I'm glad for you to see me. I guarantee that it's funny. Nothing in there. Hmm. That's good. I'm gonna stew some corn and green onion for y'all today and make some hominy, lye hominy and chili. Hey y'all, today we're going to learn a few good cooking skills from a legend. Mr. Justin Wilson. So here we go, y'all. Sit back and enjoy. You ain't seen cooking like this, I guarantee you. When I was a kid, my mother used to used to make the lie hominy with lie, you know. But I never did like to to watch it, so I, I've forgotten how to do it. But I bet I could if I had to. I don't uh, I don't want to do it if I didn't help it. But this says right in here, a quarter of a cup of olive oil. I might just as well get started on this right now. That's olive oil. It says one fourth cup. Now, I'm pretty good at pouring one fourth cup at one fourth cup at a time. You watch. Now that ain't a fourth per cup, no. That's not either. Fast getting there. Ooh, I heard all that. That's just about a fourth of a cup of olive oil, and I'm gonna put all this stuff in it. I got to got to do it, you know. Got to have it. Put this olive oil right back. I may need some more if it doesn't come out right, you know. Now into this, I gotta put four cups of chopped green onion. That's four good cups right there. So I'm gonna turn the fire on. I like to have it, have, it, have it sizzle on me. See if I get the right one. No, never do. <laughs> Got that one. We're gonna put that on a medium heat. That's my tasting spoon. It's warm already, I tell you that, but it'll warm up real fast. Come on in there, my hands are clean. You go cook in there. Gotcha. Take this spoon and stir that in there real good. Mm. Mm. You know I can smell that smelling good already? You all don't smell that? <laughs> That's four cup of green onion. Now I'm gonna put eight cup of sweet corn, cut off the cob. Man, I'll tell you, you isn't that pretty? It is pretty. I'm gonna put this in here right now so we can get it to cooking. Oh, you thought I was gonna drop that, I did too. <laughs> Wanna get all that out of there. Come out of there. Come out of there. Got it. And stir that in. Anytime you cook, any occasion will tell you this. When you're cooking, every time you add anything, you got to stir. Eight cup of corn, green. Fresh corn off the cob. Got to be good. Got to be good. Whew. All right. Now into that, I've got to add something else here. One cup of good dry white wine that you'd love to drink if I'd let you, but I'm not. I'm going to put it in you. It's a Chablis. That's a full cup. I can hear that cooking. Go ahead on there, baby. Stir. That wine takes all, you know, people ask me, say, why do you always cook with wine? Well, sometimes I cook with beer. If I boil shrimp, I put beer in it. But uh, the reason I cook with wine, I know it'll take the bitterness out of anything. Now, green onion's got a certain bitterness to it. 
if you cook it with celery, celery's got bitterness. Parsley's got a little bitterness. Any, any, any other kind of onion got, got bitterness too, got the bitterness. So you got, you got to take it out, and wine takes it out and enhances the flavor. The two things at the same time, what are you going to do? But you can't miss that. Then I'm going to put a cup of spicy onion. That is a rotel. I'm going to put a cup of water after I put the rotel in there and stir it in. That's rotel. Stir it, man. Just stir it, you stand. That's what you got to do. And hold that thing so it won't splash anymore out there on the stove. You have to pick it back up. It ain't good, no. That shows that I'm not a chef. I'm just a cook, that's all. And in the country, you can splash things on the stove. That's all right. I'm a country cook. And I love to cook. And now I'm going to put a cup of water. Oh, I'm going to take a sip of that water, too. Got a frog in my throat. <laughs> I wish I'd had it in there when I had that wine in my head, I'll tell you. <laughs> cup of water and stir. I got him then, that frog in my throat. Get the cooking there, baby. You're looking pretty. That's a pretty dish. And it's pretty enough to eat. Now, into that, I got to put some good chopped garlic. Two, two, I'm talking about two teaspoons full of chopped minced garlic. Got to get all of it there, baby. I don't want to leave any of that in there. I love garlic. Garlic is good for you if that people are just, just finding that out. I've been knowing that all my life. Stir it in there good. Spread it around. Oh, boy. Let's get with it. Yeah. That's smelling good. Can y'all smell it? I was doing a stage show once in a big city. I was cooking on there. I got a, a, when I started to cook, just as I started, I'd fry some bacon and put a fan by and let that blow out in the water. <laughs> and it worked, it helped. Let me get this moved up a little bit out of my way. I'm gonna put this over here so I can have room to do something else I got to do shortly. Here you go, you stand, put them right there. That'll work. And put this over there to help it. Stay there, all right? Now, I got to salt this. It says salt the taste. My taste. And we're gonna put about, let's see, I got a bunch of stuff in there. Eight cup of sweet corn cut off the cob, four cup of green oil. I got to put about, uh, well, that's a teaspoon. No, oh, don't believe it. I'm going to show you. That's a teaspoon full of salt. That's one teaspoon right there. Ain't that something? Ain't that something? <laughs> and stir. I'm going to put some more salt. There's not enough salt. It's going to take two teaspoons for to do, to do this right. Let's put another teaspoon. Another. Well, well just a little bit over. We'll let that's a heaping teaspoon. That's a heaping teaspoon. Not in heap too much, so no. Put that salt back right there where I may need it later. And I got to stir this. It says stir the ingredients in a big large pot and cook over a medium fire for about 45 minutes. And that's exactly what I'm gonna do now. Come on here. Oh man, that is fine. I can taste everything in the corn, the rotel, the green onion. Now for a sip of wine. That's all it needed was just a half a swallow. <laughs> 